Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be carrying on from the video I just did on action bars and how to use a coordinator layout to uh, design an action bar on the top and the bottom. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get this border on the bottom and this border on the top and then how to get these buttons in here. So right now, if I click them, they don't do anything, but just I want to show you how to get these. They're actually vectors, these vector images down here and how to get this border on the top and the bottom. So let's start by Actually, I'm just going to carry on from the other video here. Okay, so first we need to, let's create that border. So right now these are white, or sorry, they're blue, and we need it to be white, and they need to have a border on the top and the bottom, respectively. So to do that, we go into Drawables, and we can create a new uh, Drawable resource file. And I'll just say, um, I don't know, gray border uh, bottom. I'll say white with gray border bottom. Pretty self-explanatory. It means that the color is going to be white and I'm going to have a gray border on the bottom. Okay, so there's there's quite a few ways you could do this, but I have my way that I like to do it and I'm not saying it's necessarily the best way, but I don't know if there is a best way to do this. It's kind of just uh, it's just a way to get it done. So, I mean, don't quote me on this, but this is just how I do it. So let's go up to the top and we're gonna change this to actually a layer list. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we're gonna set the layout width equals match parent, and then we're gonna set the layout height to one dp because we just want a tiny little border. So we go uh, Android layout height equals uh, one dp. And you'll notice the autocomplete isn't working on this, so just kind of an FYI, don't be surprised if your autocomplete isn't working. And then we're going to declare an item, and um, for the item, we have to define the bottom, the top, the right, and the left. So for the bot, in this case, this is our, our border on the bottom. Because it's the bottom, we're going to set it to 1 dp, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. We're going to set right to negative 1 dp, and then we're going to set left to negative 1 dp. And then we're going to set uh, top to negative one dp. So this this is basically going to cause it to only show us the bottom. The right, left, and bottom are not going to show up in our view. So then in the bottom we declare a shape. Whoops, forgot to close that tag. So there's our item. Now we're going to create a shape, and it's going to be a rectangle. And so we, we create this rectangle, but by doing this, it causes only one of the sides to show on the rectangle. So this is the only side that's going to show. And, and now we're gonna create the stroke. And the stroke, uh, you, you would use it as a border. So like if I was regularly declaring a rectangle, you would declare the stroke and that would, that would give you the, the width of the border around the rectangle. So in our case, we're just gonna make our uh, width 0.5 dp. And then we're gonna set the color to, I believe I already created, oh no, I haven't created this gray color yet, so let's go into colors and copy that. And I'm gonna to go to hex. So I'm just gonna go hex color chart and go up here. And I'm gonna grab a gray, so that, that looks good. Whoops, I didn't mean to click it. I just wanna copy that. And we're gonna go back and paste it here and call it color gray. So there's our gray. Let's go back into here and going to reference our color gray. There we go. So now we can close off our stroke tag and now we're going to create a solid tag. And go Android color and this is going to be our color white. So this is going to color the rest, the rest of it. I think that should be okay. Let's test it. Let's go to activity main and this is our uh, border on the bottom. So we're going to put it on our top toolbar. So we go background and drawable, there we go. So now let's click away and there we go. We can see that we have our border and that nice gray color just like <clears throat> just like Instagram is. So now we wanna do the exact same thing. Don't, don't worry if this is confusing. I think everybody finds this a little confusing. These layout files, these XML files are really weird, um, but just kind of find a way that works for you. This way works for me, so this is how I do it. Um, yeah, so let's copy this now and let's paste in the drawables and we'll call this border top and hit OK. And then we just want to change this. So we'll set the bottom to negative one and now we'll set the top to positive one. 
and we'll go back to activity main and let's set our background for here. So background uh, border top. There we go. Now we have our toolbar on the top and our toolbar on the bottom, just like Instagram looks like. And of course, um, this leaves you open to like a massive amount of customization. You could you could make any kind of background. You could do a border on the left, border on the right, border on the left and right. You know, whatever. If you f can't figure out how to do anything, I mean, just just Google it. Just you know, like say say you wanted to round the edges or something. You could go like uh, Android round edges uh, button how to make the corners of a button round click here and here you go this guy he has 404 upvotes this is gonna be a good way to do it you can see he sets the radius and that's gonna give you that round that round look you can, you can also have buttons change when you press them you can have them change colors when you press them and uh, like an on-click listener, but for XML, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so anyway, just if you think of an idea, just Google it, and you'll figure out how to make that particular thing. So where were we? Okay, so now we're gonna and now we're gonna insert those little images down at the bottom. So like these little um, vectors down here, they're called. So first, let's actually insert the vectors. I just chose some at random. These aren't, these weren't picked in any particular order or reason. So let's go to Drawables, New vector asset and just choose choose whatever you want so you can choose from this huge list you got all the categories here or you can choose from all and um, I'm just gonna use the ones that I used in my in my demo so I'm gonna drag them all in but I'll, I'll show you how to get one in here so I'll just call this the Android one and that's literally all you do you just name it go next and finish and there you go you have it in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna drag all my other ones over from my demo and uh, and I'm gonna uh, cut the video here so I'll See you as soon as I finish doing that. Okay, so I got all my vectors in here. I have this Android one, arrow one, backup one, center focus, and library books. So now in our in activity main, we just need to we need to design the layout that's going to hold those images. So we'll go down into our toolbar, and we just create a regular old linear layout, just like you would do normally. So we're going to set the width to zero dp because we're going to use a weight sum to distribute them evenly in the linear layout. So the height will be uh, match parent and use a, a width of zero DP. And then we need to go up here and we'll declare a weight sum. I'm just gonna call the weight sum 100. That makes it easy. Just like think of it as like 100%. And then you can just declare um, different widgets and have them occupy a certain percentage. Oh, actually I forgot to change this orientation too. So let's change this orientation to horizontal. This width is once again gonna be zero DP because we're gonna use a weight sum and the height will be match parent. And then what you want to do is just start typing weight. And you can see the layout weight comes up. And we're going to have five images down at the bottom. So I know 100 divided by 5 is 20, so 20%. So I just type a 20 in here. So now I know, now if I take this and uh, paste it five times, paste it four times, each one of these is going to take up 20% of the um, horizontal, total horizontal layout. Hmm, actually, that's not right. Uh, Oh, it's this. This needs to be right because we want the linear layout to occupy the entire thing. Sorry. So the weight, the width in the image views are going to be set to zero, but the linear layout actually has to match parent. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and I used image buttons. I meant to do image view. There we go. So I'm just going to delete these ones, and I'll work on one, and then I'll just copy and paste it. So I'll give this one just to give it an ID. Then I ha since I have one done, now I just copy that and I would paste it four more times, and now you have that. Uh, evenly distributed those evenly dis distributed vectors down at the bottom uh, so now I just need to set the other images so this one will be the back arrow that one could be the Android this one can be library books sure it's gonna be center focus and this one can be backup so there we go that looks pretty good let's actually run it though and see what it looks like on the emulator all right, so there we go. Now we have our sort of Instagram-like uh, app. We have our toolbar at the top, our toolbar at the bottom, and we have our little buttons at the bottom. Of course, clicking on them does nothing yet, but I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get to that in future tutorials. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.